In Creole Car Metric, every user has access to Mannequin Light for basic human factors analysis. If you click on the Mannequin tab, you can click on Insert Mannequin, and this allows you to place a human model into your assemblies. But when you have Mannequin Light, you just have one model available to you. It is a male, no specified country, no specified percentile. So it's just a generic dude. Let's click on the open button and then we can specify where it's going to be standing by clicking in the collector for select reference. Then I will pick on the surface. Let's then just click the OK button. And now we have the human model in our assembly. But again, it's just this generic guy model. There is a way that you can add additional models to your mannequin installation. Let's take a look at doing that. Here I am in a web browser. I am at the PTC support site, which is support.ptc.com. From here, you will want to click on download software. And then from the order or download software updates page, click on the hyperlink for order or download software updates. Then click on the Creo Parametric product family. And you will have a number of different releases in here. You will want to go to release Creo 1.0. When you expand that, you will see the PTC Creo Human Factors Library. Expand that, and then we can go to most recent date code. And here we have the MO10 date code. Click on the HTTPS button, and that will allow you to download a zip file to your computer and then extract the zip file. Let's take a quick look at the contents of the zip file when it is extracted. I extracted it to my C Creo folder. That's where I like to put all my different standards and settings. And here is the name of the folder. It is PTC Mannequin Live. Inside of there, you will have a comforts folder. Comforts are something that you can apply to the different mannequins in your assembly. There's also a postures folder. But the main thing inside of the library are all these different folders with assemblies. You have a couple of kids, you've got a bunch of male models, and then a bunch of women models. And you have them in different percentiles, like 50 percentile. Here we have 5th percentile, 95th percentile. Then we have a bunch of different countries. We've got Canada. Oh, there's some ISO models. Then we've got Italy, Japan, Korea, NASA, Netherlands, NTK, that's for a USA Natic 1998 anthropomorphic or anthropometric study. And then we have the United States. And again, you can see if I scroll down here, a bunch of additional mannequins for women for a lot of the same different countries or organizations. Now let's go to Creole Parametric and set a bunch of config.pro options to point to this location. Inside of Creole, I will click on File and then Options, Options. Here we have the Configuration Editor dialog box. Let's go to Configuration Editor. These are my different config.pro options. I will click on the Find button. And inside of the Find Option dialog box, I will type in Mannequin. And beware, it is the name of the module, not the real spelling of the word Mannequin. Then I will click on Find Now. Let's make this dialog box a bit wider so we can see more of the descriptions and see the full name. Also, let's make it a touch taller. And so here we have three options down at the bottom. The first one is PTC Mannequin Library Path. And by default, it is pointing to my Creo Installation Load Point Common Files Mannequin Light. Let's use the Browse button in order to change that to where I extracted my library. And then click the OK button. And let's add change that. Now I will go to the Posture Path option, Browse. And then let's choose the postures folder from inside here. Okay, add change. 
and then the comforts path. Once again, browse. Let me go up a directory level and then select the comforts folder and OK and add change that one and then click the close button. If I scroll down in the list, we should see these different options here for the PTC mannequin paths. Now let's export that. I will export per the current filter and let's save it to the config.profile and then click the OK button. And now I will restart Creo Parametric so those options will take effect. Now I am back in Creo after restarting. I've got my assembly open. Let's click on the mannequin tab and then insert mannequin. And you'll notice this time I have a number of different options available to me. So let's use the US Kid 50th percentile and then click the open button. And now I will click in the collector for the place on reference and then just pick somewhere on the surface. Then we can click the OK button and the mannequin is placed in the model. Let's zoom in a bit. So now we have this kid model that we can use for our human factors analysis. So that's how you can add the additional human models to your mannequin library. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.